I will tell people to make sure they have life insurance for their kids because if I didn't have that, I probably would have been hit, but I had life insurance and I was able to take care of everything for my son's funeral. I don't know who I can trust. I be feeling all alone, feeling out of touch. Out of Some days I be feeling like giving up. But I got to stand strong. My main rage, no punk. And God we trust. They found another body in the slums. Ain't nobody snitching, everybody playing dumb. Gripping on my gun, say a prayer for my son. It's hard out here, can't have no fear. So what's up? What's been up with you? Nothing, just um, going on with my life yeah. after I lost my baby. He was murdered Whoa. in um, August 2016. Still fresh. Dang. I'm sorry to hear that. How old was he? 19. 19 years old? 19. Still a baby. Still a baby. My baby. This is my baby, Leandre Room. I kept everything the same. I just added a lot of uh, Coach stuff because Coach was his favorite team. Um, I would say... Like my baby, he graduated from high school. He graduated with high honors. I wanted him to go right to college, but he said, mama, can I please have a year off? And in that year, he had off, he got killed. So I would say, even at the high school, just go straight to college. Do something. I wish, I, I wish he just would have went straight to college. It took me a minute before I could come in here, but I'm able to come in here now. I used to couldn't, but I can come in here now and stand around and look around and stuff. But it, it took me a minute to get to that point. I know it's the streets. It's the streets and it's the company people keep, you know. Um, I don't know. It's, some with this gang thing. Everybody want to be in the gang, you know. So that's not that's not what's up. That's not what's up. Cause only two things can happen. Either you go get killed, or you go be in prison for a long time. You might even die in prison. So I would just say make the right choices in life. You know, it's this path and that path. Make the right choices choose the right path. We, we don't think like that. We think we're going to live forever. You know, how many people you think that's on their deathbed right now thinking the same thing and thought that they had another day to live? Your day can come any day. Go. Living on the east, but I was riding through the south. All I felt was violence I could taste it in my mouth. We're going every day to more souls gone. Triple homicide down the street from my own home. And I question God, what's going on? Will things ever get fixed? Will things ever get right? Or do we continually to go through this life and they fight? Cause this is all it seems to be. I'm constantly praying for nationwide peace. And at times it feels in vain. But there ain't no way I'm gonna stop proclaiming Jesus. Cause I know there's power in my God's name. Power to save and power to make the hearts of man change. Power to take that mental state we in and rearrange. Cause I hate what I see, I hear when I streets. Our brothers getting killed and it's a constant thing. It's like love dissolved and the hatred increased. Our brothers becoming worse enemies. What do we do since the peace has ceased? Evil is destroying our families and the wicked taking over our communities. Anybody fed up? Anybody had enough to cause the more they would sit back and watch? It only gets rough. It only gets hot. You see that beef won't stop just cause that brother got popped. Every day these dudes get shot. There's respect on the streets and you're quick to get popped. I, I wouldn't say it's they fall. I would say it's uh... It might be how they was raised, you know what I'm saying? It might be um, a daddy that was in the gang, an uncle, you know, and they wanted, they looking up to them. Oh, I want to be like my daddy. I want to be like my uncle, you know what I'm saying? So, and then it's TV. It's the internet, you know. It's everything, really. They got so much different violence. You see... People on Facebook getting jumped. People don't help them, they record it. <laughs> you know? Even people getting murdered. I see people record dead bodies on the streets, you know what I'm saying? Instead of helping this person. So, I just say it's, it's social media, it's TV, it's upbringing.
Mm -hmm. I think that was my birthday, and he just really just thought he was my daddy, and that picture just reminded me like he like. Um, I think Boo Man drew that. I think Boo Man. And it's easy to get a gun too on the streets. People sell them all the time. <laughs> Maybe they gotta kill somebody with this gun. They wanna get it off them, so they go sell it to this person. You know, you don't know how many bodies on one gun. You know what I'm saying? You know, the streets will bring you low when you're trying to reach the top. I'm constantly praying for peace, but will this madness ever stop? There's a better way out. You don't have to deal and bang on these blocks. Murder's giving slop. Bodies getting laid by the tick of the clock. Our brothers quit to swap them, no need to trust. So I gave my word as my block, because I refused to hit the bottom. Our brothers tripping off their own problems. Killing each other, but sleazy way to solve them. See the stretch and coming, got the managed to dodge them. This all I see and hear all around me. Our brothers so caught up in these grimy streets. Ain't living life. They living lies. So paranoid in their mind. Do anything for some shine until they slip up and mess up. They get burnt with a nine. In the black community, it's, it's bad. It's worse as far as the gun violence and stuff. You know, but I mean, this nationwide. You know, this is happening all over the world. Yeah, it's easy to get a gun on the street. What you got to say to them? To them. To them out there that's listening. Please, please, get your life right. Get get right with God. Live right. Ain't nothing in them streets. Nothing. Because once you dead and gone, you leave behind a lot of people hurting. I hurt every day for my son. I really do. But, you know, I know I got to go on. So just get right. Live right. Put them guns down. This was the senior breakfast. And I was tired. I had got off work and went straight there to have breakfast with them that morning. And I said, let's get a selfie of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he was teasing like that. <laughs> Him and China birthday was coming up. Both their birthdays in November, they a week up. Uh, their birthdays is a week apart, but they're 11 months apart. So I said, let me get a picture of my babies, my two big babies in the kitchen. April 2016, our family reunion we had at the park. That's our aunt, well, my aunt, their great aunt in the middle. We had a good time that day. It was very smart. I said, I got all three of my sons today. Let's take a Essie. <laughs> so we took one, China one here. So it's me and my boys. Climb on the counter, get whole packs of cookies, hide under the bed and eat them. He was on his way to the semi-formal. Look at him, grown man. This boy 17 with a chance. <laughs> and I post a picture on Facebook. This picture right here. I love it. Got that permit. Whoa, look he at him. He's happy. What's Rowski? Uh, in route. Oh, he in route. Catch me in route. Look skin. at him, he in route. So he's showing off his permit. <laughs> Baby boy. That's, mm. Lots of memories. But it ain't nothing like having them here in person. But I got lots of memories with my baby. Think I tell myself, hey, think I'm be straight. Some days I need help, some days I be okay. My body tired, my bones so weak. Think before I speak, another victim in the streets. I'm glad it ain't me. Somebody, mama cry. Somebody need to call the nine lines. Thinking to myself, everything gonna be straight. Some days I need help, some days I be okay.